Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now I've had a few issues this week, a few technical issues to be honest, and as a result, the this this tutorial is going to be, well it is, it's a day late. Um, not only have I had a couple of technical issues, we've also been busy, I mean I'm talking full on, I've had three classes here in my studio. Um, I did a workshop on Wednesday night for the Lockyer uh, Collective Collection, which is a group of um, uh, ladies and guys that get together. They got you know ideas to have different different sorts of um, tutorial evenings. So I was asked to do that, and I was very honoured to do it. Now today's tutorial is just about drawing. It's a very simple, uh, very simple key keyhole, an old keyhole on an old piece of wood or an old door, obviously it'd be a door if it's got a key on it, <laughs> I think, but you know realistically no matter where you are at with your drawing and no matter how how much detail or whatever you put into it, you've got to understand that every drawing starts at the same place and that is at the beginning obviously. And it's from there that we grow it and build it to whatever level we want to get to. As you know, my, my if you've watched some of my uh, um, earlier tutorials, they're just basics, basic shapes, simply, but, they, but they're effective, they look good. Well, it's the same. It's the same with what we're going to be doing today or what I'm going to be doing today. It just expands on it. It's just, so don't be daunted by it. It's probably... One of, the, one of the simpler drawings, but very effective. It looks good. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. So let's get into it. All right, well, I'm starting off just doing the outline. And I'm not using the grid for today's tutorial because I just thought we didn't really need to use it um, because there's not a lot of um, objects, you know, or bits to put in it. Now I've done it in time lapse. Uh, mainly because you know of the length, the actual length. This would have taken oh I don't know, three or four hours, and I'm just trying to get the, uh, the 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 tutorials you know into something that's more time effective, so that you actually see in what I'm doing. And of course, you can pause anytime you want without actually having to go through the whole ordeal. It's going to take you probably just as long, but you don't have to sit and watch it for as long if that makes sense. I like to use the pencil, I'm using an HB uh, wood pencil and I like to use it when we're doing um, shading in uh, areas you use it on its side you cover more area and it also picks up all the little imperfections and, and whatnot that are in the paper um, the paper I'm using today is just ordinary um, photocopy paper which is fine just for you know for just for doing little drawings Basically, what you're seeing at the moment is really what we're going to be doing for the whole um, for the whole part of, of drawing the actual um, old keyhole. And I'm not trying to do uh, a realistic copy of the reference photo. We're using it as as a reference photo, so it's there for us as a guideline, so we can follow along and get it to the best that we can get it at, but we don't have to get it exact. In fact, 
that is definitely not um, what this is all about. You're getting a lot of um, noise in the background and I'm, I'm not quite sure how to sort of sort that out. I'm, I'm sort of learning as I go with these tutorials or with you know, the recording and editing and stuff but it only seems to happen when we're when it's in time lapse, so there's obviously something I'm doing. Maybe you can leave something in the comments because someone will know. I'm using Windows 10 Video Editor. You know, like all drawings, it's you've got to start at the beginning, which is you know just doing the outline, and you slowly, slowly build it up here. Add some graphite, you take some away, and, and that's how you build it. That's how you create the layers, which gives it the different texture and effects. And I find with these sort of drawings, the more detailed ones with, um, but the random sort of detail, you know, you're trying to create an effect more, more so than uh, an actual likeness. And I find that. Um, there's, you sort of you know, you, you'll sit down for a while and, and, and draw for 40 minutes, no longer, <laughs> and, and then go away, come back, and then you might leave it for you might leave it for a day and then come back because it is you know a lot of repetitive um, a lot of repetitive drawing that you do, you know, a lot of a lot of things you're doing you're doing over and over again to get the effect. That's my clutch pencil. Well, I'm using my clutch pencil because it's a, it's a 5.6 uh, lead. I think it is somewhere around here anyway. But it, it, it covers, uh, when you want to cover a lot of area, it, it's great for that. Too distracting. It sounds like it's got some birds chirping away, I don't know. Blue tack, or you can use a needle eraser. It just gives it a different, a different texture, look, a different effect. Um, the clutch pencil will let with the big lead in it um, is the great for doing skies as well because you can cover it, especially the areas you can cover it quite quickly. Although there's no sky in this one. That is a versatile uh, tool that you can use, very versatile. Not really good for detail stuff, obviously, but not everything is about detail. And even with your blending sticks and blending stumps, you know, you, you can do quite a lot with them. You've got a bit of graphite on the on the, um, the end of it, and it'll, you can get good coverage with that too. Good effects.
know, don't be afraid to make mistakes. You've got to be bold, you know. So don't be afraid to make a mistake. In fact, mistakes are usually usually end up being um, a good part of the drawing. And the beauty, of course, with, with the graphite is that you can erase it. Now here I'm filling in that keyhole. Now, you've got to make... Um, it's, it's, it's hard, quite hard actually using graphite to get really, really dark, dark coverage. So I'm sort of doing it in, in two, two sort of layers, two or three layers. I'm using an 8B um, to get the dark. This is probably the darkest I've got. Um, and so you know, you just play around and. and Do you get, you know, the effect that you're after? I would have picked up a bit more graphite from doing the bit. From um, blending in the, in the keyhole there. Now, I've done a little bit off camera because, as I say, it, it is sort of doing the same over and over again. And we'll just put in a little bit more texture, a little bit more, um, to make it look a bit more rustic and old. Creating more texture. I like to try and, you know, study the the the, um, the reference photo before I actually start drawing. And it's funny how your hand and, and your eyes and the coordination how how it sort of works out what you're trying to do. So the, the more I look at it, the more it must sink into the, to your head because you don't. I don't often think exactly what I'm going to be doing next or what I'm doing. It just flows along. Doing the grain and um, and, the, and, and and just putting in a, putting in some highlights, well not highlights, but some some of the details of where we want darks to go. And, you, and as you go along, you'll see little things, and you'll think, oh, I'll put that in now. And then look, and then we jump over to something else. And it's all a process.
blamed it all in. Not hard, just as softly. You don't want to blend out all our lines that we've done. We just want to merge them in. those little cross pieces that we see there. Just adding a little bit of detail. Turn the page around. I like to go with the flow of the drawing. Gradually building it up. Going back in there and just going in between the little bits that we've taken out and just going in there and, and sort of darkening them up a bit and sort of getting at the, the, the detail stage. And like I say, it's just a process. You know, the more you practice, obviously, the better you're going to get at it. important to 
wash away little uh, fragments and crumbs from the eraser. Don't use, a, don't use your hand. It's still a little brush. Try not to use it. Even to the habit of brushing it away. things I love about using graphite is, is just, just with a pencil, a bit of paper and an eraser, the effects that you can create. And you never get tired of it. And it always amazes me. Put your own little knots and things in there as well. Who said you've got to do exactly what well, we're not doing exactly, but who said that you can? It's what we call artistic license. No one's going to even see the, 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 the referral or the reference photo. Unless you sharp to it. I really hope that you, you know, you're following along and pause often. And you're getting something out of it. It's, it's such an enjoyable thing to do, to be able to sit down and just spend, you know, a few hours drawing, a couple of hours, whatever time you can afford or what time you, you have available. Just gives you a whole different perspective on things. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love, I'd love you for, for you to give me a, a thumbs up and, and leave... Um, Leave a comment, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell and that way you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. Just putting in a little bit more detail there. Filling in between the highlights. things like that make all the difference. 